if you know you are chosen, I mean, you know that God has given you a specific responsibility to carry out by virtue of the things you have seen. You can attest to the fact that there is something major you are supposed to be doing for God. But right now, currently, you feel isolated. Somehow you even feel lonely. You cannot explain why. Then this particular video is for you. In this video, I will be teaching you three major reasons why the Lord isolates chosen one. This video is going to be the answer to all of these questions in your heart. But before we go deep into this particular video, if you know you haven't subscribed, please do it to like, share and subscribe to this particular video so that the algorithm can be favorable to this video and other persons would see this video and be blessed just like you are about to be blessed. Now what are these three major reasons the Lord isolates chosen ones? It is important you know that a chosen one is someone whom the Lord has set apart for a particular responsibility in the kingdom. A person whom the Lord has anointed and is preparing, ready to do exploits in the kingdom of God. Majority of us mistake isolation for loneliness. Isolation is not loneliness. Isolation is a period of time whereby the Lord picks up a chosen one, separates that particular chosen one in order to make the chosen one efficient for the responsibility ahead of the person. Now what are these major reasons why the Lord have to isolate chosen ones? Number one is in order to build dedication and focus. Now one particular thing that is common among chosen ones is that they are always distracted. A majority of them are overthinkers. Why? Because they cannot possibly explain what is happening to them with logical reasoning. And now this begins to make them to think overly. I begin to wonder, why is this happening? And they try to get different explanations to the things that are happening in their life. Sometimes the occurrence in their life cannot be explained by their own understanding. So they just begin to stretch themselves so much that they even wonder, why am I even the one going through this particular thing? Why? Because the majority of them are overthinkers trying to overthink their situations with human reasoning. These are things that are sponsored by the supernatural. You can't possibly explain it with your own human understanding. Now, God isolates the chosen ones so that what he can curb distractions from them. Distraction is a major means by the devil to destroy the responsibilities given to chosen ones. Now, when you are chosen, the devil will send forth distractions from every single corner in order to what, stop you from reaching your potential as a child of God. Now remember in the scripture, in the book of Acts, the Bible says that the Holy Spirit said, Separate me Paul and Barnabas for the major work of which I want them to do. After that particular separation, we ended up seeing all the exploits and manifestations of God that was done by Paul and Barnabas. This was because they were separated as chosen ones. Now when God separates you as a chosen one, it's because the Lord wants you to be focused. The Lord wants you to be focused. The Lord wants to be dedicated. Majority of you are walking in the realm of distraction and as long as you continue in this particular realm of distraction the possibility of you manifesting your full potential is very very slim so god will have to take you away this particular isolation is not that god will make you lonely but every single thing that is supposed to bring you down god will take away from you sometimes god will give you specific instruction that will demand you to stay alone in order to gear from god Sometimes God will take you to specific places that will demand some private lessons just for you to be alone so that you can hear God. So the reason God is doing this is so that you can focus because it's only until you build your focusing abilities that you can be able to learn God. It's only until you are dedicated to the course that you can be able to get what God is trying to pass through. The majority of us are repeating the same class over and over again as choosing ones because we have not built focus. When you fail to focus, you will realize that you will lose sight of the goal. When you fail to focus, you will realize that you will lose sight of the responsibility you have. And the only time you will remember that you lost something is after they are far gone. So God will look for a means to keep you dedicated. God will look for a means to keep you hooked. God will look for a means to keep you focused so that you can be able to carry out your responsibility. The only person that can manifest God's complete potential is the person that is dedicated. Is the person that is focused. When you are focused with the kingdom things, when you are focused to carry out the responsibility ahead of you, you will see that God will give you the capacity and the abilities that you need to carry out this particular responsibility. So God is not isolating you. God is not taking you away. God is not separating you because he wants to destroy you. God is not separating you because he does not like you. God is not separating you because he does not appreciate your effort. God is separating you because he wants you to be focused and dedicated in order to actualize all your potential 
as a choosing one. Second reason God isolates the choosing one is because God wants to prepare them. Now, because God is interested in your focus, because God is interested in your dedication, God will want to prepare you. And this preparation is not a one day's job. So God will want to take you away and equip you. Remember in the Bible when God called Abraham, yes, he was first Abraham. When God called him, God took him away from his land. God, God initially did not even tell him that he was going to be father of many nations when he took him away. But God brought him out because God was preparing him for what? To become the father of many nations. God was preparing him. God needed to take him away from his own land. God took him away from his homeland. God took him away from his family. God took him away from a lot. He had to forsake a lot of things. So one of the things that happened in preparatory ground, one of the things that happened in our place of preparation is that we get, we tend to lose a lot of things. When you're in that point in your life, when you realize that you are losing those things that sometimes you cherish, but you are losing them. Those things are not necessarily bad, but they are going to be means of destruction. And you see yourself losing interest in them. And sometimes God is giving you a genuine instruction that you should leave those things behind. It's because God is preparing you. God had to prepare Abraham to become an independent man that could carry this particular responsibility. God prepared him in a different way. After isolating him, God had to test him. Test his dedication with his son Isaac. It was so intense that God had to also prepare his emotional life. For a man who is prepared to lose everything at the expense of just chasing God, is a man that is dedicated to his purpose, his cause as a choosing one to the very core. So God had to even check his emotional stability. So sometimes God is taking you out of that bad relationship. You know why? Because God is preparing you to meet greater things ahead of you. So God had to prepare you. God had to check you. God had to, to, to choose you different ways just like the ego the mother ego will begin to remove all the comfortable things from from the nest just to make the baby ego uncomfortable and then learn how to fly so God will prepare you as a choosing one sometimes the place of your preparation and making is a place of struggle and stress sometimes the place of your preparation and making is a place that is beyond your understanding but this is where God wants you to be because God is interested in preparing you as a child of God you should be more interested in growing to become who God wants you to be that you are interested in the pains you are going through because those struggles are a mark of your growth those struggles are an example of God's instruction you have to be prepared for God to prepare you you have to zero your mind that God is ready to work with you and be prepared to work with God as a choosing one God is prepared for you and this preparatory grant is the time of your exploit because God wants to announce you because there is an advancement for you and until you are ready to be prepared God cannot announce you any choosing one that is not prepared to let go of himself and let God take over is the choosing one that is not prepared to carry the responsibility ahead of him. So God will have to keep you there for you to learn the rudiment that takes in the future. God will not want a child that will go out there and disgrace him tomorrow. So God will want to prepare you so that when you get to the future, you'll be a proud son of Zion. And the last reason why God isolates the choosing one is to give them capacity. Capacity. Now capacity is a thing that does not just come on its own. Capacity does not hit anyone by coincidence. Remember in the scripture, when God isolated Joseph, Joseph's isolation came from a very weird manner. Most persons do not understand what God did there, but God had to isolate Joseph. God had to take Joseph away because if Joseph was with his kindred, the possibility of manifesting God's potential through him is very slim. If Joseph was with his brethren, the possibility of becoming all God wanted him to become was going to be very slim. How do they bow to him when he had no problem to solve? God had to take him to Egypt, prepare him in Egypt, give him capacity so he can be able to carry out the kingdom responsibility that was lying on his shoulder. So God literally had to take him to Egypt to become a slave so that he can be announced. So the major reason why God is taking you through that struggle is to give you capacity. There is no testimony that does not have a striking story ahead. When your testimony is devoid of a striking story that contains God and telling you they have the possibility of you having a realm of influence over the same people that believes in what you believe in is going to be very very slim so yet god takes people away god isolates them to give them capacity so joseph can boldly say that 
I am a queen of God. So Joseph can boldly say that I have been given capacity by God. I am next to Pharaoh because God equipped me and gave me that ability. God announced him. God gave him strength. So as a child of God, when God takes you through the struggle, be optimistic, be hopeful because God is bringing something in the future. When you are like Joseph, who is the choosing one, when you realize that God has shown you things, you might not understand what God is showing you right now, but God is taking you through some level of step. This is not to bring you down. This is to give you capacity so that you can be able to manifest all that God wants for you. So I will beg you as a choosing one to be patient, to listen, to believe in the promises of God, to hold on to what God is saying. Because when God announces you as a person that has been through the process, you are a person that will stand the test of time while bringing the true meaning of breakthrough to the kingdom of God. Thank you so much for watching this very amazing video. I pray for you. May all your potentials as a choosing one be made open in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you so much for watching this very amazing video. I want to believe this video helped you, transformed, and blessed your life. Please, if you have not subscribed, please do it to subscribe, like, share, and comment on this particular video so that other persons can see this video and be blessed just like you are blessed. See you next week.